Hello! My name is Lauren, and recently my friend Caitlin and I were watching back um, some old Harry Potter films, you know, to celebrate the end of the Harry Potter series, and basically our childhood, you know, with this last movie, you know, we grew up with the books. And as we were watching the movies, we realized we had a lot of unanswered questions to say, and just a lot of hypothetical things that we really feel like J.K. Rowling could have totally explored more. So I compiled this list of our top seven uh, hypothetical questions for J.K. Rowling. So I'm going to put on my Harry Potter glasses and read them to you. Okay, number one, why are there no dogs at Hogwarts? Dogs are furry, they're lovable, why aren't they allowed to be, you know, one of the pets? They're a lot less aloof than cats and less slimy than toads, so why aren't they allowed to be there at Hogwarts? Is it, you know, because there's not enough areas for them to go to the bathroom? Because they have a lot of big grassy lawns at Hogwarts that they could totally use. Secondly, what do wizards do for jobs? Like, I would totally have loved to know in the 19 years later part, you know, what's Ron Weasley doing now? What's Hermione Granger doing? Like, are they bankers? Are they doctors? Like, there has to be wizarding doctors. Like, the only three options that I've ever heard for jobs are, you know, to be teaching at Hogwarts, to work for the Ministry of Magic, or, you know, to maybe become a professional Quidditch player. You know, were there any professional Quidditch players from their class at Hogwarts? I don't know. Um, is there an American wizarding school? Because Harry has definitely met an American wizard, you know, at the Quidditch World Cup. So, where do magical Americans go? Like, do we have a, a lesser school than Hogwarts? Because Hogwarts is, you know, pretty renowned. Like, where do we go? And also, is there an equivalent to Diagon Alley in other countries? Or do mm, wizards only have to go to London? You know, is there another wand maker besides Ollivander? Or do... We all just have to go to London because it's London just like the superior magical city. I, I don't know, like, what's up with that? Also, are there wizarding gyms? Because, you know, wizards like to have feasts. You know, you always see those really good looking desserts in the movies, like, how, how do they stay in shape, you know? And Rupert Grant, you know, he had some guns. So, Ron Weasley, how do you get those muscles? Exactly. Like, where do they work out? And also, this is a question from the Sorcerer's Stone movie. If you know, when Harry first sees Voldemort on the back of Professor Quirrell's head, he has a nose, like a normal nose. So, how come he has a nose when he's living off someone else, but then when he has enough strength to actually have his own body form, whatever it is, he only has this little, like, slit things. Like, why can't he have just more features? Like, I feel like he would have more features the more power you had to, like, be, you know, strong enough to be your own person. I feel like you should have more features. But anyways, and lastly, this is probably one that really, you know, pretty deep question. Can a witch and a wizard, you know, have a muggle baby? And if so, what happens to the muggle baby? Like, is it disowned or, you know what, like, does it have to go, like, live somewhere else? Do they have to give it up for adoption to a normal family? Like, what happens? I mean, is it even possible for two magical beings to have a non-magical being? I don't know. These are just some of my questions, and you know, if you have answers, leave them in comments. I would totally appreciate that. And thanks for watching. Bye!